Oh boy, time now for another episode of Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics. And well, this is a, a bit of a conundrum <laughs> because I didn't realize the backup feature in the previous issue of Captain Adam uh, was, uh, you know, a to be continued, uh, you know, a cliffhanger, if you will, for uh, Nightshade. So uh, jumped ahead uh, to the next issue of Captain Adam and uh, we'll finish up with Nightshade, and since it's uh, we're going into October, uh, I thought uh, I would do some uh, horror comics instead. So uh, we'll revisit Captain Adam, <laughs> I guess, in November. So, so anyway, here we are. There she is, Nightshade, the darling of darkness, and she has a creepy, pervy stalker named the Image, who uh, watched her in her bedroom. <laughs> Uh, and uh, apparently has uh, the uh, mirror master powers, like from the Flash, you know. So he just walks in there and grabs her. So uh, the image, a foreign agent with strange powers over mirrors, has kidnapped Eve Eden, who is in reality Nightshade, to get uh, at her senator father. Yeah, right. <laughs> and his defense bill, interrupted in memories of the land of Nightshades. Eve has gone along to learn more about the image and his poetry of peril. So, see, she's just pretending and playing along. He thinks he's in charge, but boy, is he wrong. So, anyway, uh, what do you want with me? Let me go, you creepy cyclops. Not until your father and the other senators agree to my plans. Oh, look, created and written by David A. Kaler. Artistically conceived by Jim Aparo. Oh, yeah, Jim Aparo. He's a uh, really good artist, so that explains, you know, it's pretty good. Anyway, uh, just make yourself at home, Miss Jet Set. You may never get another chance to accept my hospitality. So he has a cage and locks her up in it. <laughs> uh, boast, big boy. I could have you, I could have had you on your back long ago if I wanted it. My father will never agree to your plans. So you could have kicked his ass, but now you're locked up in a cage. Well, yeah, somehow I'm sure this will all work out. Uh, anyway, uh, and in the Eden Mansion, Senator Eden is reading the verse left by the image. Well, then my power is your daughter Eve. So in this hour, you again must grieve. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, but at 12 tonight, I'll be back to see if you and friends might to my plans agree. Oh, this guy is terrible. He's just awful. Shall I call the police, sir? Huh? Oh, my daughter, right. Um, no, we'll have to let this image character make his next move. He mustn't hurt Eve. Uh, I'm hearing traffic beyond. I wonder where I am. But what is Eve thinking? What are her plans? It's all like before. A threat to my life and no shadows to run into and change myself. So you're stuck. You need a shadow in order to change into your superhero self. You shouldn't have let him lock you up in the cage, dummy. Anyway, uh, so, uh, you know, he remembers back. We were caught by one of the Incubus flying warriors. Run into the shadows and change, children. Escape. There's no escape this time. So it's Man Bat. Let me go. I've got to save my children. Get them all. The Incubus will reward us all handsomely. Mother, make him let me go. And then he gets attacked by some giant fat tribbles. Yeah. Oh, they look like wolves. So it's man wolves and man bat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, set him free. Let him go. Get away, mother. Forget me. Frantically, she struggled to free her son, but there were too many of them. Have to escape. If only there were darkness. I don't know. This is all pretty dark. Oh, you mean shadows. You can't get away into the brightness. You're ours. Uh, safety in shadows. Got to become a shadow. I'll get the girl. But where's Mother and Larry? 
Where are they? And she learns how to turn into a shadow as Man Bat. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, you'll never keep us here. She has your saber. Get it. Forget me, Mother Run. Yeah, I heard it the first time. Fool. She's been stabbed. I you kill her. Um, suddenly all the world grew dark. Not suddenly. <laughs> anyway, uh, mommy, the woman is dying. Incubus is coming. Grabbing the tiny hand of her shadow daughter, the dying woman managed to use the inky darkness to enter back into her adopted world. But it was too late. Don't ever tell Daddy Eve. Go back for Larry. Promise me this. Promise. Uh... <laughs> mommy, I promise, Mommy. So, there you go. That's Eve Eden's origin story is Nightshade. Hmm. Is he wearing slippers? Or loafers? I don't know. Anyway, uh, tears don't be... I mean, oh, wait, that's the man bat's voice. Um, uh, it doesn't matter. Tears don't become you, darling. I've delivered my other verses, and soon it will be over. He and the others will have to give up their new plan to bolster your nation's defenses. My government doesn't think much of it. Goodbye. Well, then, if they, then why did they send you to go get it? I, uh, all right, whatever. So, uh, I don't know. He's walking through another mirror into a spaceship. Or, or but he's, I guess, well, he's already home. Why? I don't know. Anywho, I guess he's backing out. Yeah. I'm walking backwards. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm in the mirror. <laughs> uh, with no time for further memories, Eve seeks a way to escape. There's too much light in here. If I can only get it dark enough to become a shadow. My shoes. What about when she lost her nose? Wow. Um... Which she can't do like uh, Samantha on Bewitch, you know. Or no, is that... No, Jeannie just blinks. So yeah, it's got to be a nose on you know, Bewitch. Anyway, with a careful aim taken, Eve manages to plunge the room into darkness. And now to become a shadow to get back to my room. Meanwhile, today's episode brought to you by Rockets, some tricks, I don't know turn your poems into songs or your song into poems, something like that. And yeah, the image should look into that. And again, your own atomic smoke bomb. That'll be great, huh? Bye, go, go now. Uh, uh, anyhow, back to our story. How? Low bridge. What? Ah, oh, gross. That's, yeah, I didn't need to see that. <laughs> Uh, hi, Bridge. It's a woman's right to change her mind. Since she's, you know, see. Anyway. Now I'm calling you. Fool. That bumbling idiot helped me. Bumbling. What? Are there two images? Is there another guy standing there? I, I don't know. Oh, she. <laughs> Am I missing a page? What? No. Ah, pfft, okay, I, I don't know. Now I'm in control of things again, and I think I'll get a little bomb happy if no one minds. I don't know what that means. I guess he's going to just do it right there in front of everybody. The light! Somebody put out the light! <laughs> she, she just has to have the lights off to be able to do anything. Okay. What happened? Where is she? She's still there. You just can't see, stupid, because the lights are out. And plus, you're wearing those idiot goggles, so now you can't see even less than the other. Anyway, I'll be delighted to let you know sometime. Here's a bomb for you, Image. Uh, my only chance to escape is through the mirror. We, uh, I've just activated the explosive mechanism of the bomb. Bye-bye. Have a big blast. He had a bomb all along. All right. Well, whatever. Doesn't leave without your package image. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, stop. My daughter might be in there with him. Oh, dumbass. So she throws the bomb into the mirror and somehow it follows. I guess because he's still in the midst of traveling through it. So the bomb follows him and uh, blows his ass and balls off. 
There's no need to worry, sir. I rescued her before I came here. I learned that trick from Clark Kent. This is how all plans to destroy freedom should end. <laughs> Seven years bad luck to our enemies. And to you, too. You just smashed the... Yeah. Anyway, disappearing into the night, Eve quickly returns to assure her father of her safety. Dad, you're all right. Nightshade got here in time then. Eve, she did rescue you. I wonder if the image was really destroyed. But I'm thankful that I could save Dad, even if he could never know it was me. More of the dark mystery surrounding the origin of Nightshade is revealed next issue. Oh, God, we still it's still not really over because, uh, you know, there's more exciting details about Nightshade that I'm sure you're dying to know. But um, I just got to wait till uh, <laughs> November, I guess. <laughs> anyway, don't miss it. Oh, you don't want to miss that. So, yeah, uh, going uh, similar to my uh, Mr. Nelson show podcast where it's just going to be all. Uh, spooky stories and stuff like that and uh, the final chapter of night nights tricks for treats series i've been doing all year since last year's halloween <laughs> yeah uh, that, that'll be a part of the deal too but uh for uh sunday comics i will be looking into uh horror comics and we'll see what goodies lie in there so anyway see you next sunday Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends. Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh my goodness, so many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.